Welcome back to our conversation with the Congresswoman from the 3rd Congressional District in Massachusetts, Lori Trahan. And Congresswoman, uh, I'd like your read on the economic situation in your district. Uh, there are all sorts of red flags popping up here in Massachusetts. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the state of the economy has, has caused a contraction of venture capital. Mm -hmm. The tech sector is going through uh, tough times. Yeah. Uh, what are you hearing? What are you feeling about where things are headed over the next six months to a year? Yeah, no, it's a great question. So first, I spent a lot of time talking you know, to voters in the six weeks preceding uh, the election, and there's no question that the high cost of living is really hurting families, right? They want us to do everything that we can, and we have to be laser focused on bringing down whatever costs we can, whether it's health care, prescription drug prices, uh, energy bills. Um, but then, you know, a lot of the moves that we did this Congress are going to set our uh, communities, especially some of the communities like Lowell and Lawrence and Fitchburg, up for success. Uh, in the, five, in the next two, three, five years as we see manufacturing come back uh, to the United States, semiconductors, whether that's manufacturing or design, advanced uh, semiconductor chip design, come back to the, to the U.S. Uh, and then, you know, just uh, the infrastructure jobs. These are all great paying jobs. I mean, part of what I do, John, is I work hard with our stakeholders all across the district to make sure that that money is coming to our communities, right? We've already been able to announce replacement of, of bridges like the Rook Bridge in Lowell, the Basilier in Haverhill, the roads, um, our water infrastructure, which is inhibiting some of our towns to right. develop and, att and attract industry. So, you know, we're focused on making sure that we're creating the conditions for uh, for great paying jobs to come to the third. Why would a CEO uh, want to build a manufacturing plant in the Merrimack Valley when uh, the costs are among the highest in the country? Uh, the uh, uh, the estate tax is one of the uh, one of the highest in the country, if not the highest. Uh, we just passed a, a surtax on incomes of over a million, so that's going to hit uh, his or her paycheck, the CEO. Uh, and and, uh, you know, all the other negatives that unfortunately go with our climate and so forth. Why would they come here when they have choices all over the world? Well, I think there's a couple of things. One, uh, we've got the best talent uh, in the country and in the world here in Massachusetts. I mean, I just, I hold up UMass Lowell Public Research University all the time. That really is delivering a pipeline of employees uh, to our companies that are, are in the third and, and well beyond. Um, also, you know, we, we have to continue those pipelines. Look at whether it's our tech schools, our vocational schools, our community colleges, which need the investment so that they can be agile about giving folks the skills they need. Certainly our public schools, which my two daughters attend, those investments are going to serve us well as we continue to attract uh, private investment. And, and I always come back to, you know, this is still the best state to raise your family, to go to work, uh, and to build a life uh, right here in Massachusetts. You know, we not only have talented people, um, but we are going to make those investments in our public transportation, in our, uh, in our roads and bridges, and also our our education system so that we can continue that. Uh, we get so much federal funding, whether it's NIH, you know, Secretary right. Raimondo through CHIPS, uh, Secretary Walsh through uh, infrastructure, that we are actually set up to uh, to really make Massachusetts successful. I got to wrap it up, but no concern about the return of the Taxachusetts label? No, I think that we need a steady stream of revenue so that we're constantly making investments in our okay. education, uh, in our young people, and also our transportation so that we can continue to be competitive and, and lead the country. Congresswoman, thanks. Come again soon. Yes. Always enjoy talking with you. And Appreciate again, it. congratulations. Thanks, John. And thank you so much for joining us and for making us Boston's number one rated Sunday morning political discussion program.